Hey guys, welcome to your love reading for Taurus. This is going to be for your December 2024. You can apply this to your Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus signs. We are going to take a look and see uh, the person that you're dealing with, thinking of, separated from. We're going to see what this person uh, wants from you. Apply this to your own unique situations, okay? You can apply this to new love, current love, or an ex. Uh, so uh, switch the roles if you want, okay? Like, share, comment, subscribe. Hit the notification bell so that you guys get notified on when my new videos post, when I go live. Also, if you guys are interested in following me on TikTok, Instagram, my other YouTube channel that is dedicated solely to my travels, the links for those are in the description box below. Anyone interested, I'm running a Black Friday sale for my personal readings. All my personal readings are all 30% off. Uh, the code to redeem is in the description box below, okay? So get it while you can. The code does expire on Friday, okay? So what messages do we have here for? Taurus. Over energies for Taurus regarding the person that they are dealing with, thinking of, separated from for Taurus here. So Taurus we have Sagittarius. You could be dealing with the Sagittarius here, okay? You might even have Sagittarius in your chart. Um, I do believe that between you and your person here, you know, this could be a very, very, very adventurous connection here. But, you know, I do feel like, you know, you're feeling that in this situation, there's a lot of turmoil with this individual here because I feel like this person could be very in and out. You know, this person really enjoys their freedom and stuff like that here. You know, I just feel like there is conflict that you guys are having a hard time resolving here. It's kind of like at this very moment between you and your person here, there is terror on the high seas here. I just feel like you're feeling like this person, this person's ungroundedness here is not really your jam because you're looking for someone here who's very stable. You know, you're looking for someone here who is thinking long-term here with you, okay? We also have Aquarius. Some of you guys could be dealing with an Aquarius or that you have Aquarius in your chart. I mean, you could, you guys could have both of these energies in your chart here because I do feel like whoever this is, this is a very independent individual here, okay? And I feel like, well, this person is looking for their own space here and I feel like you guys, what you guys are looking for, you know, things are not really aligning here. And I feel like you guys are complete polar opposites where I feel like there's some difficulties in this relationship here where things are just not really connecting or aligning here or that you guys are not looking for the same things, okay? What does this person want from Taurus? What does this person want from Taurus for December 2024? Sun, moon, rising, Venus signs for Taurus. For Taurus here. For Taurus. So we have the Queen of Pentacles here and the Ten of Wands. Okay. Queen of Pentacles, the Ten of Wands here. We also have the Seven of Pentacles and the Five of Wands. Okay. Ace of Cups here and the Fool. There's just a lot of conflict between your person here. I do feel like this person does love you here. I do feel like this person does want to release anything that's holding this relationship back here. But I feel like oh, there's a bit of stubbornness here because I feel like there's a lack of compromise on both sides here. Yeah, there's a lack of compromise on both sides here. But I do see a new beginning that's happening here for you guys. I do see you guys resolving things here where, you know, there is some sort of resolution. We have the Queen of Pentacles here and the Nine of Swords. We have the Ten of Wands here and the Queen of Swords. Yeah, you guys are not seeing eye to eye here. Someone here is really stressed out. Someone here is really anxious here. Um, someone here is not sitting well with the constant flightiness and changes in the relationship here. So I feel like there's a de definitely a misalignment here where, you know, Taurus, you might be that person that wants to stay home, make dinner, and then watch Netflix, and this person wants to go out and have fun all the time, you know? Um, I do feel like this person has a tendency to get bored very easily here, and I feel like you're, you know, more of a creature of habit here, Taurus. We have the Death card here, Scorpio energy and Temperance here, Sagittarius energy and the Five of Wands. Someone here could be wanting to end the connection here, and someone here wants to continue it too. Ace of Cups, Eight of Wands, The Fool. And the Page of Cups here, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces. Eight of 
you know, Taurus, I feel like if you're in this position here, I feel like it, it does require you to be patient and flexible here. Now, it could be the other way around, okay? So switch the roles if you want. Uh, what is the outcome here? What else does Taurus need to know, look out for, work on? For December 2024, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus signs for Taurus. Okay, so we have the world card, all right? And we have the four of pentacles, four of pentacles here. Um, we have the knight of swords, Libra, Aquarius, Gemini, the ace of wands. We have the four of wands, okay? And also we have the eight of cups here, all right? What is the outcome and advice here? To be quite honest here, I, do, I really don't see this lasting here uh, because I just feel like you guys are pol complete polar opposites here. Um, not that opposites can attract, but there's a sense of not really trusting the situation or trusting your person here, okay? Um, there's a battle of like who's right and who's wrong, okay? Here's the thing. What your person's feeling, what your person's wants are not wrong. What you're also for the same for you. There's a lack of acceptance for someone's who uh, there's a lack of acceptance for who someone is as a person here. And I feel like someone here is trying to mold someone to be like them. That's not gonna work. That's gonna drive someone further away. Yeah. So it's kind of like you either take them as they are, and if you can't accept it, you know, you leave. So, and like I said, you can switch it the other way around. It could be the other way around. With the Knight of Swords here. Why is the Knight of Swords here? And the Ten of Cups. Somebody here does want a relationship here with you. But like I said, I do feel like there's a sense of wanting to change someone for who they are. And, you know, at the end of the day, that's really not fair if you really think about it. Because change happens on someone's own time, you know. You can't convince someone to do it when they're not ready to do it. You know, it comes at their own time here. Uh, but, you know, I do feel like somebody here, you guys are not really uh, matching here energetically. Uh, there's a deep love here. Uh, uh, there's a deep connection between you and your person here. There's a deep soul tie here. Uh, but, you know, there's definitely some issues here where things are just not really lining up. You know, to be quite honest here, let's say, Taurus, if your person has these energies in your chart, and, you know, I don't know what the rest of your chart looks like here, Taurus. I mean, you might even have Sagittarius and Aquarius in your chart, but if you don't, this is quite a difficult this is a quite a difficult pairing to be quite honest here if you look at the astrology textbooks yeah according to the astrology textbooks this is a difficult pairing but also you can't really judge it by the sun signs here right you have to look at the other stuff okay uh, but you know I do feel like there's there's some there's some really deep love here but I do feel like there's trouble on the horizon here because of your differences here okay you can have differences, it's okay. But it's a matter of accepting it for what it is, okay? Or if you can't accept it, you go, right? Uh, because like I said, you can't change someone if they're not ready to change. It happens on people's own time, okay? So, Taurus, I hope that this was helpful. I hope that this resonated. If it did, leave a comment down in the comment section below. Like, share, subscribe. Hit the notification bell and I will speak to you guys in the next one. Thanks guys. Bye.